Hey guys, Chad here with Adam Daily Bourbon, and today we're going to be talking about Bib and Tucker Six Year. This is a Tennessee bourbon. It is 92 proof. It's got a nice, cool looking embossed flask style bottle. A little bit of information on this. This particular bottle is from batch 28, bottle number 49,181. Rocking that six year age statement right on the front like we like to see. And on the back, the still in Tennessee bottle by Bib and Tucker in Columbia, Tennessee. There's three sources, three big so or three big companies in Tennessee. You've got your Jack Daniels, you've got your George Dickel, and you've got your Tennessee Distilling Group. Not sure which one this comes from, but I want to say it is Tennessee Distilling Group, so TDG. So if you ever hear anyone say TDG or TDC, Tennessee Distilling Company or Group, I'm not sure which one it is. I feel like this is from there. Ooh. Let's pour some up. This bottle was provided to me for the purpose of this review from Bib and Tucker, so I do want to thank them for that. So on the nose on this, getting a nice cornbread sweetness up front, a good bit of baking spice, some clove, nice citrusy note in there, not the mineral citrus. And I'm gonna put this out there. If this is from George Dickel, they do a very good job of blending the product. Uh, as original recipe would say, I don't get the Dickel tickle off of this, but I also don't mind George Dickel. You know, citrus, cornbread, a little bit of that baking spice, nice clove note in there, like a tobacco, like a clove, cigar, cigarette, whatever they are, you get that spice, that, that strong clove note, but it's got like a sugary vanilla sweetness on the back side of that. Let's give it a taste. Same cornbread sweetness coming through on the palate. It's like a honey drizzled cornbread, nice brown sugar, cinnamon crumble almost. It's, I mean, it's a really good like front palette with that sweetness, getting like a dried fig or like a, getting like a dried fig, plum kind of note on, on there. The spice, man, the spice really, really shows off on the palette. It's silky. It's, it's not thin, but it's not thick. It's got a good viscosity to it, but there is an underlying spice in this that reads a little warmer than 92 proof. Good tannins. Uh, I mean, this is the first pour of the day, so this could be it, but good tannins, uh, the dryness sitting on both sides of the tongue, coming through the front of the palate. I like the tannins in this. Drinks, I mean, drinks a little older than six years. I mean, if you were, the color on it wouldn't suggest otherwise, but I'm not a person who looks at color. On the second sip, third sip, maybe the fifth sip, I'm not sure, I lost count. But on that sip, getting an even bigger punch of that, that honey note, a lot more of the vanilla custard note, it is really, I mean, it's, it's a decadent pour, but it's got just a, it's got a really strong spice undertone and, and it, it's really balancing it out. I'm just going to throw this out there. I've had Bib and Tucker in the past. I've, I've had the six, I've had the 10, had the 12, had a, you know, some of the store picks. I've always liked them, but I've never owned a bottle. So this is like the first bottle. So thank you Bib and Tucker for sending this to me. Uh, I hate to say that in this review, but I mean, so far, I am a fan of this, and this may be controversial, but one thing that really gets people is the bottle. I mean, this is a very, I don't want to say iconic, because there's probably a lot of people who haven't heard of Bib and Tucker, but I mean, if you look at this bottle, it just kind of stands out, even with the, the dark coloring of the bottle with that amber brown bottle. But I mean, it's, it's embossed. It looks very pre-prohibition style or like just right after post-prohibition style. I mean, it, Bib and Tucker, small batch bourbon whiskey, why it's a fine time to drink. So right there, if you can see that, it's almost kind of hard to read, but it might be my lighting. Probably what I should have done was read what the front of the bottle says at the beginning of the video. Uh, During America's rough and tumble early days, your finest attire was referred to as Bib and Tucker. Bib and Tucker bourbon is artfully crafted and patiently aged for six years in Tennessee. So I probably should have done a little more research on, on this, but you know, that's good for a follow-up video. This is a first impressions video. Even though I've already had a couple pours, and so far, this is a really good pour. For now, the retail price on this, from what I see around my area, is, is anywhere between $58 and $65 for a six-year bourbon. You do the Heaven Hill math on that, that's 10 bucks a year-ish, you know, give or take a little bit. But uh, it really just kind of depends on how you value your dollar. Uh, I've been a really big proponent this year lately that 90 is the new 50. So if you can get an age-stated product at 60 or below, I feel like you're doing pretty good, or even at that $65 point. Because you're seeing more and more brands, small crap distillers come out, 
putting out age data products and they're in the triple digits. I mean, six, eight, 10 year old products, you know, sourced and this is sourced. It, it, you know, they, they're not just doing this. They, they specify bottled by, I think it's very well known that Deutsch does not distill bourbon. They source bourbon, you know, Deutsch owns Redemption, which just had the whole thing with Bullet. Don't even want to talk about that. That doesn't make any sense to me, but they also have this. So Redemption, Source MGP, this I'm assuming is Tennessee Distilling Group. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, perfectly happy to be to be wrong. If you are not a Dickel fan and you want something from Tennessee, because listen, there's, there's good bourbon from everywhere. There's good bourbon from everywhere. Good whiskey from everywhere. And I think Tennessee gets written off a lot, but this around that 65 and under price point i think it's great i think it's worth having around i think it's very good and i'm really excited to go back into this second second nosing getting some toasted musty oak on there so it's like charred but wet oak at the same time getting more of that cornbread that citrus and it's like a candied orange it's it's not the standard like burnt orange peel this is like one of those orange gummy candies with like the sugar dusting on it Picking up a little bit of leather, like fresh leather. You go into a shoe store, like a nice shoe store, you get a nice new pair of shoes and you, or boots and you smell that leather. It's that honey cornbread, like brown sugar cinnamon crumble note, like got it again. Still transferring to that, like that dried fig note with that clove, that sweet clove undertone. Like it's just solid. This is just a super, Super solid pour. Very surprised by this. Like I said, I've had their stuff in the past, but not enough to where I can comment on it or say yay, nay, or in between. But I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. This is, I mean, it could be that I went in expecting not to like it. I don't want to sound negative, and I don't I don't want Deutsch and Bibb and Tucker to think that I'm sounding negative by saying that, but I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, but I really enjoy this. If you have not had Bibb and Tucker, at least give it a six year try. I know there are plenty of people out there who are spending 80, 90, 100 bucks on source four-year-old product that is just like other source four-year-old product out there from Indiana. Save some money, give this a try. Hopefully I have this uploaded before Christmas. So if you're looking for a gift of someone that's like 70 bucks or under, get, get them this. I mean, if someone might overlook this by thinking there's too much going on, someone might say there's not enough going on or they see Tennessee. But if you need a bottle for someone that's 70 and under, give this a shot. I think this is great. Thank you once again, Bib and Tucker, for sending this to me. Very big fan. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of Bib and Tucker, of Tennessee bourbon. I mean, it's not whiskey. It is bourbon. I mean, it is whiskey, but it's also bourbon. You know what I mean. Let's chat down below. Have a great day. Cheers, y'all.